Hey, this is Jeff Haig with Diversified Energy. We're here talking to you about a retrofit situation in this old New Orleans house uptown. Um, what we are in right now is a basement and the homeowner wants to make this a much more dehumidified, cooler basement. So what we're working with, and a lot more comfortable of course, he uses this for a lot of storage, he does some woodwork down here, he wants to have a good dehumidified area. So what we're doing, this duct work, before we got here on film, as it was strapped before, and we have some over there, it's very poorly strapped still. What the contractor did that did all this work is he strapped it very tight. That duct work was very kinked just like that. Kinked over there, currently it's still kinked over there. What is that doing? That's restricting airflow. It's restricting airflow all the way from the supply air side of the HVAC system all the way down into the house is what's happening. When you're restricting airflow, you are creating an energy efficiency problem you are also greatly creating a comfort issue. Um, and that's what we're here to fix, is the comfort issue. So what we're gonna do is strap this properly to code all the way through, and we will no longer have those kinks. What you see here is what we're using. There's many different, kind, what we call a saddle, many different types of saddles that we use. We can go into different kinds later, but we're doing this. So it's compressing the insulation a little bit, is what's going to happen but it's still allowing a good amount of airflow and then we're going up into the air ceiling right up here second story or story above the garage and what they call the band joist around separating upstairs from downstairs there is a lot of movement of airflow especially for these old new orleans houses with balloon framing things of that nature so we're going to seal that around there where the ac guy cut a big hole for ductwork that size sealing all that so again we're gonna keep a dehumidified garage in here. And that's what it's all about, comfort.